All right, so I'm back for part seven of this series of writing a song with the master template. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to just create some random sounds for atmosphere and effects and things. And a really great way to do that is using my simple uh, dub feedback tool which is a return. So it's the A return on by default on the master template. And I've put together this pretty big, uh, long, as you can see, effect here to get some interesting sounds. And then what I do, as you can see on most of these um, returns, these are grayed out here. But if you right click, you can uh, enable the sends, which you'll have to do. And then by doing that, I can actually run the effect, run something into the effect, and then run that effect back into itself by using this send. So basically it's a it's a feedback delay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send it something. Well, actually before we get started, what I'm going to do first so I'm going to create a new audio track. And I'm going to call this dub delay input. And what I want to do is I want to send this return to the dub delay input. So we'll set that to monitor in and then that'll go to the master. And the reason I want to do this is I want to record everything that happens here in the in the return to a clip. And that way I could use that audio from the clip and cut it up and, you know, do whatever I like with it. Okay, so now all I've got to do is kind of run some sound into it and then let it kind of feed back on itself. So I'm going to bring this this up here just just a bit and this isn't going to be all that interesting to watch but uh, you'll be able to hear the sounds that I can get and these are going to work really great as atmospherics and builds and breaks and things that I can run through other effects to get even different sounds and uh, it, it's just going to give me a lot of cool options very easily which is what I'm after so let me go ahead and get started by setting this to record and I'm just going to go ahead and hit play here so that it records everything that happens. and running different sounds in to get interesting things happening here.
and there we go um, got a whole lot of stuff so obviously what I'm gonna do is I'll I'll keep the volume under control but I've got this amazing track of just all these sound noise textures which I really really like so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do kind of a low feedback type of deal and just run different sounds into it let them fade run other sounds into it let them fade um, just to get kind of these little one-off sounds that I can use as well uh, and this is gonna be great when when structuring the song just to give especially when you got something that's um, really hypnotic by having something that's changing all the time while something loopy is happening the song continues to sound like it's evolving and going somewhere so that's really important whatever it is that you're doing okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this up again I'm just kind of pop this here and let's see what kind of sounds I can dig out of this
All right, so those are the sounds that I've recorded. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is kind of, well, actually, I'm not certain if I'll, I'll do it in the next video, but these are going to be definitely clips that I'll be using in, in the arrangement when we get to that point. And I think we're really close. I'm just going to have to kind of ponder the whole song and get the vibe if I think I have enough, which I, I think I probably do. It might just be a couple little tweaks that I want to do. So these are just going to be some sounds that I can pepper throughout the song and that will keep things interesting, keep a lot of things moving through the speakers and uh, keeping the, the ear really satisfied. So what will probably be the challenge is to figure out what to use and what not to use because there's a lot of pretty cool sounds that are happening there. When it comes to kind of adding atmospherics and different things like that, it's not really that hard to to get some interesting things going. And I suggest that you try using some delay. That way you've got something that is moving with the tempo of the song, even if you're doing things at odd times. And uh, just build yourself some effect racks that sound interesting for you to run sounds through. By doing that, I think you'll get some really cool results. Of course, you, you can also, which uh, I'll just go ahead and show you the idea, is you know, each of these tracks has other other returns and sense. So I could experiment with, uh, you know, hi-hats or whatever. Let, let's see here. So I've got my drums here. So I got my hi-hats here. So as I'm going through a song or something, I've got this part here. And, oh, but I can... these little interesting things that are happening with delays, reverbs, So those are just so many subtleties that you can add to keep the listener happy with a song that is essentially construction and deconstruction of a loop, that a repeating loop. Like I said, if you're a member, this uh, dub delay comes with uh, the master template. So basically what I've got here, I've got flange and uh, bit reduction, ping pong delay, saturator, auto filter, some reverb, and then compression, and a limiter to keep things from getting really out of control. So uh, yeah, feel free to build your own thing. But the real secret is having delay in your effect and also using this here to feed the delay back into itself. And that'll give you like a lot of really interesting sounds if you're, you know, working the delay with some other interesting effects. So there you go. That is part seven, and I'll be back soon for part eight.